I live here. Welcome back, everybody. In today's video, we have Sean from Long Island Audit, and he gets detained at the Social Security Building. Now, enjoy the video. What's up, guys? Long Island Audit here, back again with another video. Today, we're at the Social Security District Office here in Patchogue, New York, right here on Long Island. We're here today, as always, to peacefully exercise our First Amendment right to film in public and publicly accessible areas to promote transparency and accountability within our government and to ensure that our public servants respect our rights and treat us with respect. Let's get into it. Come on in. You can just sign in. Just give me a minute, sir. Yeah. Just, hold on. Just give me a minute. Oh, okay. Thank you. Close the door for a minute. Why can I come in? Because I'm going to assist them first. Oh, so I'm going to I don't need assistance, sir. No, I'm not assisting you. I just want to assist them first. No, I know, yeah. but this is but public. Do me a favor. Right? Take your foot off the, the door. No, I'm, I'm just going to come in. No, no, but take your foot off the door. I'm going to close it for a minute. Wow, the video just started and already he's trying to barge into the building. But luckily, the security guard ain't messing around. For what? Take your foot off the door and I want to close it for one minute. I want to assist these people that need my help. Okay. And then when I'm done with them, I'll come to you. Okay, I don't, need take, your, I don't need your help though. All right, so then they extend my courtesy and just close the door. I just want to assist them. Yeah, no, I just need to go in here. Really yeah, quick. but not now. I want to assist them. This is a public building, sir. Yeah, no, I know. I can come in. I can come into a public building. Why are you push? Why are you pushing it? Do me a favor. These people Excuse are trying me. to get out. Yes. Hold on. Don't, but don't hold the door. You don't I'm have not, to hold. I'm them. holding them for them. No, no, I'm you don't have to hold them for them. I'm holding the door for you them. You don't have to hold the door for them. They're trying to leave, sir. So you're causing a scene right now. Do me a favor. I'm just trying to get inside this whole security. Office. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, I need to um, change the name of my social okay. security card. Okay, no problem. Just come right in. Just stand right here. Yeah. So how I come, have to assist these people. How come I can't stand where okay, she's hold standing? On. Hold on one second. <laughs> I'm going to stand just where she's standing. Yes. Yeah, come on. In. I'm just going to stand. Can you not push into me, I'm not, please? I'm opening the chair, right? You just let somebody else in right in front of me. Cut my spot. Right. Did, uh, did Yes, he did that because he knows you don't have any purpose there. He knows that you're just there to create a scene and get some shitty content. So he's not going to let you in. He's going to let in the people that actually have a reason to be there. Excuse me, sir. You just cut. You Excuse just me. let somebody else but in. You're recording. You just let some. How do you know I'm recording? You, you just. Do you want to sign? Yeah. Okay, you're fine. So we just want to. You just let somebody that. else in I, without I just, letting me in. Okay. So that's what that's my okay. that's where the problem's coming in right now. Okay. You're letting somebody else in without letting me into the social security office. Excuse me. So what's what's the discrimination? What's the problem? I'm not discriminating against you. So what's the problem? You just let a woman okay. inside. But you're recording me and I know. You don't know you don't know that. Yes I do. You don't yes, know do. that. Okay. You don't know so, that. Is recording against the law? I'm trying to verify with the supervisor. I don't want you to verify with anything. I don't I don't need you to verify. Sorry. Let me get your name. Your job is to observe and report, sir. Respectfully, you, you're not supposed to be putting your hands on people. You're private security, right? Are you uh, law enforcement? Can you have a supervisor come to the door? Are you law enforcement, sir? So why, why are you being aggressive and pushing me out the way? You're going to let somebody else in? Right. Can you just give me a minute? Oh, sure. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. You're going hands on, man. So there's there's no need for you to go hands on. Hi, ma'am. How are you? Hi, good. How are you? Hi, I'm just trying to be access a public building. That's all. You are not able to record, so you who, can access the building. Who's saying? But you're not able to record who who, who, who told you? Who regulation. told you? It's right on the door. There's no rules or regulations saying okay. you can't record in the lobby right, of a federal building. You're not able to record. Okay, but who's saying I'm recording? Okay, so you can put down the phone and then stop recording. It's a, is it illegal to hold the phone up? talk about playing games obviously he's recording he has his phone up he's narrating his video he is obviously recording why don't you stop lying for one day in your life in your hand is that illegal ma'am are you recording right now no okay put Do down you, the phone so is it illegal to walk around with the phone in your hand you cannot record inside this building sir is it illegal to walk around i just told you i wasn't okay so are you here to conduct business yeah i'm here to conduct okay. business ma'am. what are you here to do today I'm here to renew my social security card. Okay, you can do that, but you can't record inside the building. Okay, but nobody's recording inside the building. Okay, if we see you there, recording, no... you're going to have to leave. Okay, can you tell this gentleman to let me in my public building, please? This is my public building, and I would ask you to let me inside my public building and stop keeping me out of it. Okay. 
Are you, can do you, you have your guarantee that you're not going to record? I'm not going to break the law. You have that guarantee. I will not break the law. No. Can you move out of my way, please, now, sir? Do you have the guarantee that you're not recording? I have the guarantee that I will not break the law in any way. Guaranteed. I will not break the law here today. But you need to stop breaking the law and impeding my movement into a public building, sir. Don't put your hands on me. I'm trying to move you out no, of the way. No, no, you don't put your be, hands on me. You don't put your hands on me. You put your hands on me. That's no, okay. No, no. That's a, I'm not, no, no, no. You, you were ma ma'am, respectfully, respectfully. You were yeah. you weren't here before okay. when he pushed me out of the way. Okay. You. Well, yes, you did. Okay. It's on camera. We'll put down the phone. Does it, what does it matter? I can't hold my phone in my hand. Well, we're not going to conduct business like this. Yeah, call up the and we'll let them handle it. Yeah, not not this guy. I'm allowed to. You are denying me public services, ma'am. I am a taxpaying. You to put your phone down. Just because I'm holding my phone. Phone doesn't mean that you cannot okay. allow me into a so public building, man. No, I don't need FPS, to deal with FPS. No. FPS is law enforcement. Okay. Yes. Am I breaking the law, ma'am? I asked you to put your phone down. Is that against the law to hold your phone? You're not able to record inside. The okay, ma'am. I don't want to discuss this anymore. I want to go inside of the building that I paid for. No, you're not going inside the building while you're recording. But who did? Who told you I was recording? Okay. Did I tell you I was recording? You to put down your phone. So I can't hold my phone this way. So you no. can't wear. What, you can't wear. What if I had glasses that that had cameras I'm gonna, on them? I'm not gonna argue with you. I don't want to. I don't want to argue with you put either. Down your phone and you can come in and get a card. So you so you could tell me what I gotta take off my hat to come in here. I got there's a no, list I of things. Ask you to take off your okay, phone. but it sounds ridiculous that I can't. There's nothing. There's, I'm not breaking any laws. He's breaking the law by not You're letting not me into this building. Not allowed to record inside of a federal building. So we ask you to put down your phone. Simply. Is that a law, ma'am? Yes. It is. It's a law that you, you cannot yes. record. Yes, it is. Okay. Excuse me. I'm not going to break the law. I just told you that. So can so you can, can you, you put, please put down the phone? Can you allow? Can you tell this this gentleman here? Look, look, he's pushing on me pushing. again. I'm just trying to move my weight. You're pushing on me again, man. I don't appreciate that. I don't. I'm just I don't appreciate that. Way. Seriously. You may not appreciate that, but I'm sure that the regular taxpaying citizens that are going there to request services don't appreciate getting recorded and possibly having their personal information leaked all over the internet. Listen. He did before. Okay. Well, I'm right here. I'm Excuse me. Your, your job is to observe and report, sir. I'm coming into a public building. This you're, is a public building. Okay. How am I? I just want to walk in. I want to walk okay. in, look at the pamphlets you guys okay. over so here, so and that's so it. So just, just so we're aware, right? Just so we're aware. I spoke to, um, I spoke to FPS, and they're stating that he is allowed to come into the building and record. Now, he's not allowed, obviously, to record any of the social security no. information and everything like that. But if you guys don't want him in here recording, that's something that you guys are enforcing, not what FPS is. So you'd have to call the Suffolk County police officers then and, okay. and, and handle it that way? Okay. Because FPS, look, is telling this officer here that it's not against the law to record, just like I've been trying to tell you for the last 20 minutes. Ma'am, I'm not here to cause a disturbance. I'm not here to record any personal information. I'm not. I'm not here to record any personal information, and I'm not. And I'm not here to cause a scene, ma'am. I'm just here to enter into a my public building that I pay for just as much as you do. So even though FPS is telling them he's allowed to record in, they can still get him removed because they can call the local police department and say that he's causing a disturbance and get him removed that way. That's it. I mean, you can come and get a replacement okay, card, so I'm asking you to put I'm trying to access you services. You everybody else's privacy in here, sir. Th This is a public building. There's no expectation of privacy there in public, really ma'am. No, there is not. Expectation of We're privacy. Private. So you make sure that it's private. That's okay. fine. No, no one's going to come up to okay. the windows or anything. So, now, excuse me, sir. FPS yeah. told you to stand down. F F FPS told you to stand okay, down, what? sir. You're not law enforcement. Okay. Let me speak with John. You're not okay, law enforcement. Call, call John? Mr. Bianco, yeah. Okay. Can I get all your guys' names while you're here? Can I get your name, sir? No? Can I get your name? Excuse me, sir. Excuse me, sir. Why are you pushing me, man? Why are you pushing me? Don't touch me. Yeah, I'm pushing you right back. Yeah, you're not going to touch me like that, man. Who do you think you are? Just wait until we find out. Who do you think you are, man? Because it's it's already been established that. Yeah, but you just told him that I can record, right? It's been established through FPS and our supervisor that you do have the okay to come inside and record, but. So why are you keeping me out of the building? If this is something that they're requesting that you don't come in here and do, then. This is on them. So, so you're saying, so you called, you called Federal Protective Services, right? I called and my supervisor. You called your supervisor. Correct. And my he's, supervisor. and he's with FPS? Correct. Okay, your supervisor is FPS. And they told you what? They stated that you are allowed to come inside the building and record. Yeah. Right? You are allowed to come inside and record, but obviously you can't record the sensitive information. So okay, so the, I'm telling you that I'm not going to do that. They stated, I know. I, listen, I'm 100% with the Constitution. I understand what you're, what you're doing. 
I'm 100% with it, but these are rules and regulations that now the SSA administration staff is implementing. So if they're implementing that, they don't want anyone coming in here recording and doing that, then... But the law enforcement said, as long as I'm not recording any sensitive information, I'm allowed correct. to record. So, so at this point... she's contacting, I guess, the higher-ups. Or is, is that your super is that your supervisor behind you or is there a supervisor here from your security no, company? No, there's not a supervisor. So you guys are just officers? Correct. Okay. All right. Just Correct. making sure. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. Do you guys have any idea if he has to wait time? So we'll figure out what's going on. Here. All right, listen, I'm going to I don't want to this guy you didn't you didn't you know, I don't want to escalate the situation, so I'm going to Okay. No problem. But I'm also not going to have my rights violated. You know what I mean? Absolutely. Listen, I understand completely what you're doing. Are you going to stop me from coming in still? <clears throat> Sir, can I get your name, please? Sir, would you mind if you identified yourself for me so I know who I'm dealing with here, so I know who keeps trying to put his hands on me? Uh-oh. It looks like little Karen got her feelings hurt. No. Very professional. Very professional. Sure. Okay. And your name, Mejia? Correct. Thank you. I can actually see yours. Were you trying to, you said you were trying to get your social security card replaced, correct? Yeah, and also just take some pictures and video. I'm an independent journalist, so I'm just exercising my freedom of press right. Just what FPS just said. And like I said, I'm not going to escalate the situation. I'm not going to push past you because then, you know, it's not a good look for me and it's not a good, you know, Correct. it's only going to it's only gonna escalate the situation. So, you know, I just think it's wrong that you guys are holding me here. You know what I mean? You guys shouldn't be holding me here. If, if FPS says as long as I don't get no personal information, watch me. You have mm -hmm. three people. Go to three different corners of this office and watch me and just make sure that I'm not getting anything that's, sensitive i guess i don't know but it's up to the you understand that it's up to the individual to create that privacy in public correct it's it's the social security office administrator's job correct. to protect the information at the window and when people are using that kiosk entering personal information it's their job to make sure that you know no one's getting that personal information just like if you're at an atm on a street in the city or anywhere you know somebody could be over two feet away from you and start looking over it's not against the law. It, you, it, you, you stop using it, you cover it, or you, you know you go to another one. Because there's no there's no expectation of privacy. Really? Did you hear what Sean just said? He said that if you're using an ATM and someone's trying to record your PIN, you need to stop using it and go to another one or cover it. I mean, come on, dude. This is ridiculous. This guy is literally encouraging fraud. Wouldn't the right thing to do would be to call the cops and say, hey, there's a guy that's trying to record pin numbers over here. Can you take a look at him, see what's going on, and then potentially stop a fraud? But no, obviously, Sean's a criminal, so it's just natural to him. Public. And over here, we can see they are always recording us, even though it always seems to be an issue when we record them. Oh man. Now you got all these people outside waiting. <laughs> when you could just let me in, I probably could have been done already, you know what I mean? I don't know if they were going to help you recording them while they do the process for your social security card. I mean, why not? It's my personal information that would be on there, right? Which is true. <laughs> Which is true. I, I, I have to protect my own personal information. or. So here the security guard is actually believing what Sean said, that he's there for real purposes and wants to do something with his social security card, which we know it's nonsense, but I guess he's giving him the benefit of the doubt. They have to protect my information from me. Doesn't make any sense whatsoever. Did she uh, come back? Oh, she came back. Okay. All right, so she came back. Let's see what the update is. Just the camera, not any weapons. Alright, so just so you're aware, I just got off the phone with my supervisor once again, and he advised that it is your Fourth Amendment right to come in here and record. But first. Right, first. First Amendment right. Yes. But um 
it's up to the, the administration staff right now to uh, to come in here and advise whether or not they want you to come in and do whatever recording it is that do, you want to do, do as long do as you you're not getting any yeah as long as you're not getting any sensitive information then you know but do you see how do you see how weird that sounds so my supervisor said that it's your first amendment right to come in here and record Correct. but we're just waiting on the Social Security Administration to see if they're going to violate your rights or not. That's basically what you're saying. Correct. Now, <laughs> whatever, whatever it is that you, you know, know, and I know you don't work directly for the Social Security Administration. I don't. I don't. But you know, do you see how backwards that kind of sounds? Like one one end, it's like you know, you have a First Amendment right. On the other hand, on the other hand, you know, yeah, they might violate your First Amendment right today. Are you coming back in, ma'am? Yeah, I just wanted to ask Miss. Well, I, I will see you on Mr. Catalina. Well, obviously it depends because your First Amendment right, if you're using it to cause a disturbance and to disrupt the natural flow of business, then all of a sudden you're not allowed in there. And we've seen that countless times where the people are saying, yeah, you're allowed to record, but if you're causing a disturbance, we're going to get you out of here. And frauditors have been arrested for such offenses. Do you mind just stepping over to the side so we can get these people inside? We don't have I mean, to I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do it only because you're not letting me inside. Why can't I stand inside right here? Why can't I? You, you want to let other people in, but you're not gonna let me in. That's a problem to me, man. That's a problem. Like you're, you're treating me different than anybody else than you would treat anybody else that's waiting outside here. I understand they have business to conduct. So do I. So what's the difference? Why can't I go use the kiosk and go enter my information like anybody else? Because I'm recording and I your boss the told you. Well, the supervisor is waiting on the decision for you, so I don't know if they're gonna. Yeah, but I, I, you don't need you don't need people's permission to exercise your rights. That's what I'm trying. To, that's that's what I'm trying to explain here. You don't, you shouldn't need anyone's permission. No one, not the president of the United States, the the Supreme Court. You shouldn't need anybody your God given rights. You shouldn't need anybody's permission to exercise them. And right now, you guys are using force. Not you particularly. I understand that, but you know, right now. Your security company is using force to keep me out of a public building. I'm trying to conduct my business and, and document that. That's all I'm trying to do here. And, on, and by doing that, you're holding up all these people that are outside. Domino effect. Can uh, can we let her know that we have people waiting to come outside and waiting to come inside? Correction. At this point, it really looks like he's disrupting the flow of business because there are customers that are trying to go there that have actual purpose, and here he is blocking their pass. See, I'm not being unreasonable, right? I'm not trying to block people from coming in here, right? You're not, not at all. Thank you for your cooperation. Keep coming. Can I get your name, sir? Gonzalez? So as you guys know, on this channel, we don't bend the truth, we give you the facts, and we don't hide when the frauditors actually get their way. And today, unfortunately, he got his way. But it could have ended completely differently. Just recently, Daniel Castillo from New York State Audit was arrested for the exact same thing as this clown is doing. He was just recording, but then all of a sudden, he was disrupting the flow of business, he was causing a public disturbance, and he was arrested. So it could happen to Sean too. You know, Sean won a lot of cases, but it's only a matter of time before his luck runs out. Anyways, thanks for watching everybody. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video, and we'll see you on the next one. I live here!